What up is Marcus? We are outside where you can see my breath. We got some steak, some mushrooms, and some zucchini. We're doing some cooking here, trying to distract you from how boring the waiver wires are this week. Week 14 waiver wires. We're gonna go through some waivers here. Uh, I'm gonna douse these things in butter after I sear them, and then I'm gonna throw them on the low side here. That's my strategy. The, the black stones are really nice. This one, really just a black stone. Four. Uh, it just highly recommend to get one. This is this is dad, a dad must have, a Christmas must have. I know it's cold out here, probably like 10 degrees, but we're gonna go through it. James Cook is the number one pickup. When you looked at 20 opportunities, 14 for 64. Um, he also was six for 41 through the air here. So uh, James Cook. Rookie running backs, they tend to eight. Well, first of all, he has really good draft uh, capital. And if you're talking about a player who realistically um, is continuing to get a little bit more opportunities, a little bit more opportunities, uh, James Cook is my number one pickup. And I, I realized I got to switch these. I got to uh, turn these steaks. Look at that. Yum. Nope, they're a little bit burnt. Got to turn them quick. The steak is so thick, I had to put it in cubes. That is a little bit burnt. I'm going to turn this down just a hair while I talk here so I don't burn the steaks. That would not be a good idea. Um, so really the next ones are going to be tight ends. Uh, what tight ends do, are you going to need if you're in the where you're not in the playoff hunt here? So you have Noah Fant, scored a touchdown, scored 10 points. Uh, you have Foster Moreau still being utilized uh, in the Raiders offense without Darren Waller. Uh, and then you have Hunter Henry, who is probably, I gotta avoid the sun there, Hunter Henry, who is my favorite tight end because he plays against Arizona. We know how bad Arizona is against tight ends this year. I mean, they are historically bad. And so when we're looking at that, now this is the time to get handcuffed. So if you have a running back, Matt Breida, which is Kenneth Gainwell, these are some players that are not rostered. This is a crucial time to pick up those running backs. Um, Tony Jones Jr., who we know that Kenneth Walker uh, went out with a jammed ankle, whatever that means, Pete Carroll. Um, those are running backs that need to be absolutely picked up. Uh, the worst thing that can happen is all of a sudden a Travis Etienne, who Jermichael Hasty all of a sudden becomes an immediate autom automatic starter over some of these like cream hunts and stuff. So you need to get your handcuff out there. Uh, another player, Jamison Williams. We talked about him the last couple weeks, but he only had 11% of snaps against Minnesota's defense. We're going to be talking about Jared Goff in a couple seconds here, but I think he's an absolutely must pick up because if he starts heating up, he's going to take DJ Chark's role. He's going to take Khalif, Khalif Raymond's role. It's going to be a, a potential league winner, and you're talking about round two, round three of the playoffs. He could be that type of guy. Demarcus Robinson. He had a 76% snap share, eight targets, seven for 41. Now, this is with Tyler Huntley. Tyler Huntley, again, a viable quarterback option, has shown to be well into this NFL league. Even la It was last year that Lamar was hurt or two years ago. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, he was actually good the last time that he was on the field and targeted Mark Andrews as well, um, even though Mark Andrews had an eh game. So we're going to talk about uh, Tyler Huntley right now. Tyler Huntley, 15.6 points, 10 rushes for 41 yards and a touchdown. He's basically Lamar Jackson. Lam uh, He's Lamar Jackson, a little bit light because he's not going to run as much, but he's going to be a better thrower. So you're going to get kind of the same production uh, in that Baltimore for that Baltimore team. And then Jared Goff against Minnesota, an absolute must pick up. Um, I think Jared Goff again. When you look against Jacksonville defense and now against the Minnesota defense, which has been horrible against the pass, you got to play him. So let's see how these stakes are doing here. You guys can see. Yeah, burn up a little bit. These are some tri-tip steaks. Try not to burn them too much. Got to get that nice sear. Steaks are one of my favorite things to make. Oh, that got a little crispy. Steaks are one of my favorite things to make. Um, they just taste so good. But comment if you have a black stone or a flat top griddle. Um, these things are clutch. They come in very, very clutch. Um, my favorite is probably making stir fries. I mean, steaks are pretty good on this thing. I will tell you that much. So I know this has been a kind of a quick video. It's only been like five minutes long because really there's not much this week. Not big, not any big injuries per se. Maybe the Kenneth Walker jammed ankle one. So Tony Jones Jr. Um, if Kenneth Walker's out, Tony Jones Jr. would move up into that number one slot for number one pickup over James Cook. Unless you're, again, a team that's already in the playoffs, and I'm, then I'm just going to take James Cook and uh, pass on Tony Jones Jr. All right, peace out. Enjoy the cold if you're up north. 
or enjoy the sun if you're down south. Peace out. Take care.